sandwiches, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm OMG Becca G. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and join my picnic if you like what you see. Hopefully you will. I'm so nervous. Um, shoot. I don't know why, why I do these things to myself, but this morning I decided I wanted to dye my hair black. And so here we are this afternoon doing that. So here we are today. I'm going to dye my hair um, luminous natural black. I got John Frieda. I've never used foam box hair color. I've never used this brand before. I've never done this color before. Matter of fact, I've never even dyed my own hair before. My husband, John, usually does this for me. I think this looks cute right here, just like this. But, but you guys, looks can be deceiving. If I like dive in just a bit, and then we just look, we just look in here. It's starting to become a little bit chaotic. There are these random patches. Uh, it's it's a mess, you guys. So I finally decided I wanted to change it up. I either wanted to go black or red. Um, we chose black today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, do this together because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But let's hope that, I mean, I got this. I got, uh, I hope I got this. And what concerns me is that um, it shows on the side of the box that we're only supposed to be starting off with like brown hair to go to black and I have brown in places. I'm literally stalling, like I can't do this. I can not do this. What am I doing? I should just make cookies. I should just make cookies. What if it doesn't turn out good? And I've also heard like, once you go black, you can never go back. I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment. Oh, I can't do this. I'm so scared, you guys. Okay, maybe we should start <clears throat> by just like opening the box. Let's just try it, let's just. Oh, but then that's like, that's so final then because then if I open the box, I can't return it. Am I gonna return it? Am I fixing to change my mind right now? Am I doing this? I've literally been recording for seven minutes just talking about doing this. So there's that. Maybe, I, I need a minute. Okay, <clears throat> okay, I can do this, it's fine. I've talked myself into it, and then I talked myself out of it, and, and then I'll talk myself back into it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started before I talk myself back out of it again. Okay, got this, I can do this, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, today's gonna be like such a good day. By the way, it says that I'm supposed to like do things, like I'm supposed to like test it on me or something for like a skin allergy. Um, even if I've used hair dye before, especially if I have a black henna tattoo. Okay, whatever. Ooh. This is definitely not what I'm used to already. I'm already out of my element. Somebody send help. I'm liking that little setup a lot better than splats, just saying. I feel like I should be reading all of this, maybe. Make sure you're not wearing any accessories or using any metal tools when coloring your hair. I need my necklace. What does that mean? Do not use this product if you're going more than two shades lighter or darker than your current color. If you have recently bleached, double processed, highlighted, permed, or relaxed your hair. Well, I am wanting to go two shades, more, way more than two shades darker than my natural hair color. So I'm, this is already starting off really bad, you guys. Not promising. Blah, 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 allergies again, cool. Okay, drape a towel around shoulders to prevent, uh, to protect clothing. I guess, I guess. Guess I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. This towel all of a sudden made me so much more nervous because it just makes it feel real. Like I'm really gonna do this. Drape towel around shoulders to protect clothing. Apply water resistant cream around the face. Put on professional gloves. Remove cap from developer one, empty color. So I gotta put petroleum jelly on my face and look like an idiot for the rest of this video. Fun, loves that. Oh my God, put this on my ear. I want it get in my hair and keep it from coloring it good. Just saying. All right, so we're all lubed up. This is gonna be fine. This towel is not gonna stay BTW. Like, it's not, we're not dealing with that. We have enough stresses going on, okay? So let's put on our professional gloves. I don't even think I should be wearing these because I'm so not professional. 
Okay, what is? Okay. This is gonna be fine. I'm so scared. All right, we got this. My hair is getting in my, ew. This is already turning out bad. So like, does that mean that this hair is not gonna die now? Cause it's got freaking lube on it. Ew. Whatever. All right, um, drink towel, put on your gloves, remove the cap from developer one. It's, it's stuff's getting real. Empty colorant two into developer one. I'll just do it like that. Okay. We did that. And then it says replace the cap. Now we tilt, tilt developer one, slowly tilt developer one upside down five times to mix. Replace black cap with foamer four. What? Huh? Is this the foamer four? I don't know what it's talking about. It says replace black cap. Yeah, it is. With foamer four and click into place. Use immediately after mixing. <gasps> so stuff's getting real, you guys. We're fixing. <laughs> We're fixing to have to use it right now. But I'm not ready to use it. I'm still trying to prepare myself. So apply a tennis ball size amount of foam onto your gloved hand and then apply to the hair, starting at the roots of your natural part. We're starting. We're starting, you guys. Oh my gosh. Roughly section and apply another tennis ball size amount of foam in the next part. Repeat at least five times to the front of your head and three times to the back and continue to add foam as directed. They make this sound so easy. They're just like, easy, you got this, okay? Wait, how does this even, I don't even know how to do this. Wait. How big is a tennis ball? I don't even play sports. Is it supposed to be this fun? I don't think. Oh my God, I'm so scared. This is, what am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, I just put it on my hair, you guys. Like I literally am, I'm in there, like swimwear right now. <laughs> do I keep rubbing it? I don't remember. Ew, I don't know. Roughly section. What does it mean section? I don't even know what it's talking about. I'm so scared. Um. So yeah, this is how this is going. What am I doing? First of all, how is this even black hair color? This just feels too easy. I feel like I'm just giving myself a little spa treatment. But, and it's not staying foamy. Is it supposed to stay foamy like it is in the picture? Because in the picture, she's just foamed up, you know? And mine disappeared. So I'm wondering, I'm doing something wrong. Which wouldn't surprise me. Okay, how are we supposed to get in there? It's, you guys, it's turning dark. I don't know what I expected. <gasps> that purple's looking weird. Oh, this is gonna be weird, you guys. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's find out together. Please don't skip to the end, okay? Because I'm having to wait to find out too, so you should have to wait to find out. I don't know where to go from here. How do I get there from here? Okay, a little bit is burning my eyes. It's fun. Like, where's all this crazy color gonna go? Probably nowhere. It's probably just still gonna be on here and I'm gonna look like an idiot, you guys. What are we doing? Maybe we should keep reading. Ensure you completely cover your head with foam right up to the hairline. Your hair should be frothy with foam as this image. It's not. You guys, it's not frothy at all. Let's leave it frothy. Stop rubbing it in. Go all the way to the hairline, right? Is that what it's saying? At least five times to the front and three to the back. I don't know what that means. Just add some stuff to your hair and let's see what happens. 
It's only hair, right? Ooh, it's looking dark. I really hope this turns out good, because if, if so, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. Does it even tell me when to put it on the rest of my hair? I'm sure you completely cover your hair with foam right up to here. Wait, I already read that. Once your hair is oversaturated with foam, massage in a circular motion a few times. Just stick them out and massage them and shoot a maximum product coverage and start timing. Wait, what is option B? Yeah, we're just already in here just doing this. Like, apparently there was two sets of instructions and I've just been like mixing them together, so. What else, right? Oh my God, this is turning blue, you guys. I don't know if I'm okay with this. I'm a little late now. Um, um, I feel like I'm a little bit in over my head. Um, feeling a little overwhelmed. It told me not to have metal, and I have metal, and I feel like now that's a problem. Wow, it's really blue, right? Is that the purple probably doing that? I don't know. Um, that part's really fun. I really, I'm really liking the foam aspect of it. Um, yeah. It does seem a bit cleaner than the flat. Um, especially considering it's a black color. I can feel the regret. Like I can just feel it seeping in. As I see these colors peeking through still, I can just feel it just setting right on in there. What have you done to me? I am surprised at how much um, of my hair it's covered, considering I've only used the one box so far. That's pretty nice. Um, it's gonna have to stop and make the other one because I just feel like this isn't enough. Oh, look, it just stayed. Fun. Okay. Or, or maybe that's not a good time. <laughs> okay. And then, I think it's just staying. I'm just gonna do that. Take these off. Take my necklace off that it told me to do from the beginning. Thank God. Thank God it gave us professional gloves because if not, I would not be qualified to do this. So much easier the first time around. I'm trying to hurry and that's making it way harder. So it's like, you ever try to get dressed as soon as you get out of the bath and your like body's all wet and sticky? Let's try this first. Okay. Good enough. Go. Go. I feel like I'm, this is my second time around and I feel like I'm totally a professional. Oh, it's not to shake it, you guys. Messing up already. Okay. That's conditioner. Okay. Colorant. So we don't know what we're doing now. But I feel like my color setting and I really need to hurry. But also don't because like it says be gentle. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's, it's a colorful mess back here. I totally see where there's so many spots missed, you guys. This is gonna be a oh, do you see that? This is a big mess. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I haven't seen the end of the video. I'm just saying, like, I feel like if I was gonna cover all this up with anything, black is probably the way to go. I feel like I can just feel that I've missed parts on my scalp. Like I just need to like go in hardcore on my scalp right now. Not sure what I expected, but I'm honestly very surprised at how dark it is already. Um, not, I haven't looked at the time, but I do know that I've been recording for 20 something minutes. So it's for sure been on part of my hair for 20 minutes. Right up for the hairline, your head should be frothy and foam. Add a little more product and continue to massage your hair until foam is frothy in appearance. I just don't think that's gonna happen for us. Probably is a problem, but what can we do? 
I can just feel that I'm missing stuff in there. Like I just, I just know it in my cojones. Is that a powder? I'm gonna finish putting this in my hair and I'm gonna wait 30 minutes or what is. And um, yeah. Are you ready? What do you think? Um, I absolutely love it, you guys. I was so freaking nervous, and now I don't even know why. I'm, I really, really love it. I've wanted black hair for a very long time, on and off my whole life, but I was always afraid um, to try it. This turned out wonderfully. There is a couple spots like right up in here that still has purple or pink or whatever but to be completely honest it's way less patchy than I was anticipating I thought for sure that all of this would be a completely different tone than the rest of it but it's pretty uniform um I feel like at this point I must say that I am not sponsored by John Frieda should be not though um, I bought this with my own money and I was definitely will, willing and ready to tell you guys <laughs> if I didn't like it. But thankfully, I love it. Um, there was like a spot right in here where the petroleum jelly got in my hair and just like I was afraid of, it didn't dye it. I don't know, there it is. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it was just like a little piece of purple or whatever. But Wow, I'm so amazed at how easy this was. It um, came off my skin really easy. I honestly feel like I didn't even need the petroleum jelly. Definitely not like when I was using that splat color. Um, that stuff is a mess. This, nothing like that, nothing at all. And let me just show you the back real quick. Here's the back. I don't know if you can see the bottom. Yeah, um, so there's that. If you were concerned about maybe you have colored hair and multi-dimension colored like mine, and you were wondering what would happen if you dyed it black with just like a box dye at home, hopefully you have good results like I did. I am pleasantly surprised to say the least. <laughs> I thought for sure this was gonna be a hair fill video. I was hoping not, I was really hoping not, but I thought, just in case, I should go ahead and record it. Um, that way, you guys know what happened if I showed up in my next video with crazy hair. But thankfully, and luckily, um, I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys do too. If you're not already, please make sure you subscribe and join my picnic. I love all of my study sandwiches so, so much. And um, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like button. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.